Hi everybody, hope you're well. Today I will read from a book titled It's Nice Today on Climate, Comfort and Pleasure by Anne Lacaton and Jean-Philippe Vassal with Atmos Lab, published by Ruby Press. Lacaton and Vassal are the architects who brought greenhouses from the realm of agriculture into architecture. This book tells the story of their relentless exploration of such structures as a tool for a more fluid transition between indoors and outdoors. In a career spanning more than three decades, Anne Lacaton and Jean-Philippe Vassal have completed more than 20 projects, both conversions and new constructions, that incorporate greenhouses and winter gardens single-family homes, apartment complexes, cultural and commercial structures, and large-scale urban developments. Each project has demonstrated the efficacy of winter gardens as thermal buffers, yet, because standard calculation models have not been applicable to such designs, it has been difficult to quantify their insulating effect. To better understand the positive impact of this technology, Lacaton and Vassal teamed up with the environmental design consultancy Atmos Lab to carry out detailed long-term measurements at four of their projects, comparing their thermal performance under different conditions. This book presents the methodology and results of that endeavor, providing scientific proof that winter gardens and greenhouses can act as efficient thermal buffers, reducing heating and cooling costs, while providing users with a generous space to enjoy sun, natural light and views. Visiting botanical gardens and greenhouses as students in the 1970s and 80s, we were impressed by their beautiful, pleasant and welcoming atmosphere, convinced that it might be a wonderful place in which to live. Close to the sky, to the environment and to the climate, sheltered from rain and wind, warmed by the sun, with a light curtain for protection and air to cool you down, in greenhouses we discovered a different, friendlier approach to our relationship with the climate and the pleasure of natural comfort. They showed us that we had to live with the climate, that we had to seek to engage with it rather than ignore it, that we had to open up rather than insulate, that we had to stop always seeing the outside climate as something we had to protect ourselves from. It became clear to us that we had to look at the transition from the outside to the inside of a building in a different way, no longer as a rigid boundary, as a barrier. Instead, it was preferable to establish a fluid, shifting, adaptable relationship that delicately modifies the external climate to create a habitable interior, letting in as much sun, air, natural light and vistas as possible, and intervening only when the climate alone no longer offers sufficient comfort. Our history with winter gardens begins here. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.